Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Trent, and today joining me is my girlfriend, Katie. Hey guys. And we are going to be checking out the band Fate Gear and their song, The Sky Pirates, which is completely brand new from what I understand. I know nothing about this one, band, for, well, for one. And two, it's been commented and suggested in a lot of my videos lately. So I wanted to actually do something a little bit different, and I'm going to read a little bit of a history of the band Fate Gear, because all the bands that you guys are having me react to all have members of each one of those bands and then they joined another band and then she joined that band and then and she joined two other bands so i'm trying to kind of wrap my mind around all of it so i pull up a little information here a little history that i'm just going to kind of read through for one for for my purpose and maybe you guys learn uh something too so fake gear is a japanese all-female heavy metal band from tokyo they were formed in 2015 by their guitarist mina and vocalist nico formed after mina left destros which you guys have talked to me about Fate Gear has a steampunk theme. Five months after leaving Destros due to ongoing health issues, guitarist Mina announced the formation of Fate Gear with vocalist Nico in July of 2015. Also consisting of bassist Sake. You can correct me if that's not right. Is that right? I would go Sake. All right. Drummer Hero and keyboardist Anna. They made their live debut on August 1st at Migrero Rock May Can. I that was definitely wrong. You please Con. 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 Okay. Their debut album, A Light in the Black, was released on August twelfth and includes re recordings of three Destro songs. Okay, that's interesting. So moving into May of two thousand sixteen, Karumi Fajoka from the band Mysterious Priestess joined Fate Gear as their keyboardist. However, Hero had her last performance with the band in May twenty eighth. I really like the name Hero. So I'm kinda sad she left. Okay. They released their second album, Oz Rebellion, on June 21st, 2017, via their own record label, Steam Steel Records. Its opening track was arranged by former Terra Rosa keyboardist Mayashi. Masashi. Masashi? Mm -hmm. Masashi Oka... Ogaki? O Okagi? Okagi? Okagaki. Oh, God. <laughs> We're both wrong. Someone will let us know. I'm sorry. Fate Gear's third album, Seven Years Ago, was released on April 11, 2018. includes re-recordings from Destro Songs, Hearts Grave, and Phoenix. It also features several guest vocalists and musicians. Uh, the EP Headless Godless was released in 2019, which is more recent, and is composed almost entirely of re-recorded Destro songs. Once again, Fate Gear collaborated with several guest vocalists. So... I did know that Headless Godless is one of the ones you guys in particular wanted me to check out. So I'm going to probably eventually be checking that out. So it sounds like to me, Fake Gear is Destros. Um, but some of Destros. I'm assuming from what I can read here that the guitarist Mina, who originally formed Fake Gear, had the intellectual rights and property to Destros' music to be able to, to re-record their music. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. But I don't know. I could be wrong. But that's just kind of a little brief history on Fate Gear. And for me, it helps me kind of try to connect the dots where all these members are coming from. Because they're all connected, it seems. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump out. Jump out. Jump into the Sky Pirates by Fate Gear. Sky Pirates, we still have a 
we'll take it back just a little bit right before something cool happens there. I just want to give my initial thoughts before I do. Do you have anything you want to say? Oh, yeah. I love this. <laughs> I love it. I love the steampunk bo- vibe. I love just, like, this film over the video. Um, I love the edginess of the music. The only thing I would say because of you in my life is those deep, like, guitars. And it might just be our headphones, but... I would love even more like heavy on the bottom. I think it could really like grind it out even more. There's so much edgy edginess to them. I just, I love them. I think it's really great. I think it is our headphones actually. Um, okay. Because we're using a splitter, we're, we're, we are losing some quality from the actual sound of the video itself. So after this, I'll have you listen to it without the splitter because mm-hmm. I think you're going to hear that. So gotcha. I don't think it's the actual product uh, product of what you're hearing i think it's just because we're using a splitter yeah but um, i love it i think i think in general it's awesome and it's definitely more down my alley okay yeah i think it's great um so far i mean it, it's a lot of fun the outfits are kind of cool the steampunk vibe is kind of cool i've never really known too much about the whole steampunk thing or where it came from or why it came about or what the whole reasoning is for it I think it's kind of cool looking, to be honest with you. The whole theme of um, the color scheme is kind of cool. It goes really mm-hmm. well together. Um, I, so I like I like the look of it. I think the vibe is kind of cool, like she mentioned. One thing that I'll say, um, uh, I've said before in, in uh, the Unlucky Morpheus video that I watched, is I really like the incorporation of violin and metal. Mm-hmm. I think it brings the sound full circle. And I also said in that same video that I also like piano. And Fake Gear not only has violin, but they also have piano in the video. Also, I think it's uh, it's really okay. cool. Um, I think it really brings a full full sound to a band, especially a, a band like this that's got like their own almost like a theatrical theme to mm-hmm. it. So making it almost like a, a performance and making it sound full and uh, um, full and just uh, I can't think of the rest of words, but I just say I'll keep it at full. But yeah, so far I think it's really good. Let's keep going. that's it maybe yep all right so that was it guys that was 
I want to say the Sky Pirates because it's listed first here, but it's Fate Gear and their song, The Sky Pirates. Um, oh, oh, whoa. Um, yeah, so I really liked them. I thought they were really cool. I thought their vibe was cool and just kind of taking it. I was kind of probably squinting at the screen because one, I'm blind, and two, I was looking at their instruments. And every single one of their instruments, other than uh, obviously their outfits are very steampunk, piratey themed. Um, but the, all of their instruments, instruments, I'm struggling. Instruments are also steampunk themed with the gears and what is it would that be like a gold color you would say like almost like a rusted gold yeah i can't i, I was trying to think of the color earlier but i just i couldn't so i didn't say or a brassy it. i'm not sure the brass very vintage looking yeah vintage yeah that would be a good way to look at it. vintage with gears and stuff mm -hmm. i think it looks cool i like the whole the vibe around it i think the song's cool i think their outfits are cool i think uh i'd like to hear more um more of their material i think um I'd like to hear what they're really capable of doing because the song was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like uh, someone mentioned Headless uh, Goddess, so I think that would be really cool because they are it's consider they're considering themselves metal. So I'm interested if um, how far down that metal path they can they, you know they take it. So yeah, I mean I don't really have too too much to say. I thought they were really fun. Uh, I thought they're really cool. I like the aesthetic. I like the theme. Um, the ba the video was pretty cool. Um, I wish I kind of knew more exactly what the song is about to maybe pick those little pieces out you know picking up the dagger the gun being pulled back or is, is that just props for the video or is it something that they're telling a story within the song um it looks like they're in like a almost like a construction site here like an abandoned construction site where they're either doing a building a quarry or something you know it's kind of what it looks like around them it's an interesting place for a music video so i thought it was a i mean overall i thought it was a pretty cool song and i'd like to check out more um, so if there is a particular song that you think I should really check out, please list it in the comments below. Um, do you have anything you want to go over? Yeah. So I we kind of came back in in the breakdown, the metal breakdown with the violins and mm -hmm. kind of these, I don't know if they were choral, but almost that choral feeling through the strings. Um, but it really gives that anticipation and excitement for what's to come. And, but yet it's like beautiful with the rugged underneath. Um, I want to know what they're saying because it feels like it's an anthem. It feels like they're mm -hmm. calling out to either, I don't know if it's like women or just a population of people of like, hey, we need to march on. It feels that way. So I'd, I'm curious to know what the lyrics are. I think it might be more along the lines of a, a personal story of almost like uh, lore in a sense. I've told you about that meaning, right? Like lore when it comes to like yes. fantasy and medieval world. It doesn't have to be medieval, but typically that's where a lot of it is because it's stuff that I, I like. Uh, yeah. I think my, it might just be maybe they're calling themselves We Are the Sky Pirates. So maybe it's something to do with Sky Pirates. I could imagine them in like a steampunk style blimp or something yeah. fighting off people or something. Right. But I agree with you. It does sound like an anthem. Mm -hmm. But we'd, I mean, we could probably try to find the lyrics and check them out because I know it sounded like uh, maybe a portion of the song, if not the entire song, was in English. I did catch a few uh, right. lines in there. They were definitely not English. They were definitely Japanese. So I'm intrigued to kind of see and check out what the song, what they're actually saying in the song, what's going on in the song. It might be kind of cool, but I do agree with you. I do think it sounds definitely like an anthem. But you could absolutely be right. It could be calling out to a, a mass of people or maybe women specifically. Or, uh, but who knows? Yeah. Uh, but I, I really enjoyed the song. I'm excited to hear more from them. Yeah, me too. I'd love to hear more. Um, as you mentioned, another song, because this is about pirates, this specific song. So they're kind Sky of dressed. Sky pirates. Sky pirates <laughs> um so they're dressed accordingly so i'm curious to know like do they switch up their outfits per song and switch up that vibe or is it consistent across the board so it's pretty cool but another thing i noticed too and you mentioned this a lot is even though this isn't a live recording there's a lot of energy from every single band member which is super cool. So I love just um, the participation. Even there's moments when they're not even at their instruments and they're singing together or whatever, but um, there's just a lot of energy. And I always appreciate that too. I think it's it makes it more exciting than people just standing around in a in a circle playing instruments. So it was pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, no, absolutely. I definitely agree. I've mentioned that in a lot of the other videos that I've done. The stage presence is very big for me or energy and just seeing that they enjoy playing their instruments, seeing they enjoy what they do has always been big for me. And that's a personal opinion. Obviously, some people, it doesn't bother them as much. But guys, thank you so much as always for checking out the video. And before I go, remember I am running a little, not really a contest, but just a small giveaway. I want to give away one piece of my merch. I just released a merch line. If you're interested in what it is and you want to support the channel, that'd be awesome. The link is in the description to that small store. 
And if you wanna be entered to win this free piece of merch, all you gotta do is comment below and just type subscribe and your favorite color. That's all I'm asking you to do. Nothing crazy, nothing, you know, nothing more. And someone did ask in a previous video if I'm going to be doing international. Yes, I'm going to be international and I will be I will be footing the bill because it's not the money's not important to me. It's about getting it out there and doing something cool for you guys. Because less than a month ago I, I had like three hundred subscribers and I was just kind of like, eh, I mean, whatever. And then out of nowhere, it's doing these videos. You guys have been so supportive and really cool. And it's kind of blown up. Now I'm over 700 subscribers. So now I'm looking at it going, a thousand's not far fetched now. I think that's definitely attainable. So I want to do that small thing, even though it's not, not nothing huge. I want to kind of do it because I feel like I want to give back in a way because you guys have been super cool with regarding information, educating me on things, and just suggesting really cool music. So I just want to say I appreciate that. You know, as always, if you like what I do, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't like what I do, just hit the dislike button. That's okay. Give me some constructive criticism. I'm always open for feedback. But I'll say it in every single video, and you'll get probably tired of me saying it if you watch my videos. Don't be negative just to be negative because it's not going to go anywhere. But thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll catch you in the next one.